pulses in the dryland tropics are critically important uh, crops that um, take care of the livelihoods of more than 2.5 billion people living in the dryland uh, tropics. Work and research on the pulses uh, will make a big difference uh, to our farmers. As an example of how the, the pulses really have been uh, significant uh, to the uh, lives of smallholder farmers, I'll give an example of the Tropical Legumes Project. Um, the, the Tropical Legume Project, which involves uh, six legumes, um, chickpea, pigeon pea, cowpea, common bean, uh, and groundnut, which is not a pulse, but one of the legu important legumes nonetheless, um, benefited a great deal from um, uh, the research uh, conducted by ICRISAT, IITA, and SEAT in the past uh, uh, eight years. Uh, for example, these legumes, uh, we have been able to increase the area under production by more than double uh, in the last um, uh, uh, eight years. For example, groundnut, when the project started in 2007, 2008, we had only about um, 387,000 hectares under groundnut production in Tanzania, for example, which has grown to more than 810,000, that is more than double uh, in a course of, 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 of um, seven years. Uh, pigeon pea in Eastern and Southern Africa has made a remarkable progress as well. Uh, that from a humble beginning of less than 0 0.4 million hectares, uh, pigeon pea is now cultivated by smallholder farmers in over a million hectares. And this is progress made only in the last uh, uh, seven years. As a result of this progress, uh, even India, the largest uh, uh, consumer of pulses in the world, saw it fit to make arrangements with countries in Eastern Africa to uh, produce and export uh, pulses to India, basing on the success that has been made. This could never have been imagined in the past um, uh, uh, seven years because the product production productivity was so low. But because of the efforts uh, of, uh, of, of ICRISAT, and uh, partners in Africa, uh, the, 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 the progress that has been made has now become um, uh, realized uh, uh, as significant uh, to the extent that now partnership between India and countries in East Africa uh, is starting uh, to bear fruit. And this is also now a promise uh, to our farmers who rely on production of these uh, pulses that in addition to meeting the food uh, a nutrition security requirement um, in the, of, of their families, they are also assured of an export market uh, uh, to, to, to big countries uh, like India. Uh, crops like chickpea, which were really unknown uh, in East Africa, for example, uh, taking a country like Tanzania, which was, uh, chickpea was not even in the, in the research mandate, uh, in the, in the past seven years, we, we have had uh, uh, four varieties released and uh, production uh, increased uh, from less than 70,000 hectares to almost 120,000 hectares uh, in, 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 a cup, uh, in a couple of, 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 of seven years. And the, and, 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 and the progress is going on. Uh, Ethiopia is currently the largest chickpea producer in Africa and also one of the countries where chickpea yields are the largest, not only in Africa, but uh, it competing with, uh, with, with many countries in the world as a result of the promotional effort of this pro tropical legumes uh, uh, project. Um, yields, for example, climbed steadily from about 1.6 tons per hectare in 2008 to currently more than two tons per hectare. And this is really a, a, an indication of the progress that is being made. Ethiopia is now one of the largest exporters of chickpea from Africa, and the government of Ethiopia is earning uh, cash income from this crop, which has also stimulated uh, farmers uh, to increase uh, production 
and productivity and be more serious on their crops to seriously look for improved varieties, uh, seriously improve their seed uh, production and dissemination systems in order to meet uh, the, 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 the large demand in the international market uh, for this crop, which um, eight to ten years ago was not that important uh, in, 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 to farmers' livelihood and uh, cash income and cash generation. So uh, it's possible through uh, pulses to make a real big significant difference in, 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 in farmers' livelihood as exemplified by countries which have uh, shown uh, significant progress like um, Ethiopia, Ethiopia for chickpeas, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Mozambique uh, uh, for pigeon pea, and uh, Malawi and Tanzania for groundnut.